Fire ants are a biosecurity threat to Australia. Sugarcane, grass, hay, straw, any bowel materials are considered materials at risk of carrying fire ants. Just because you can't see evidence of fire ants or their mounds doesn't mean the pest isn't there. That's why anyone working with or purchasing bowel material from within the fire ant biosecurity zones must follow the correct production, movement and storage requirements set out in the Biosecurity Regulation 2016. A few extra minutes of your time could stop fire ants spreading across southeast Queensland and further. If you farm or produce hay, you can minimise the risk of fire ant infestation by completing the final two rakings within 24 hours of each other and then baling the material within 24 hours of the last raking. Baled materials must then be moved off the paddock within 24 hours. There are two options for hay storage, on or off ground. If storing hay on the ground, you must ensure it is covered with a tarp or stored in a shed and on concrete, strong plastic sheeting or another material that cannot be penetrated by fire ants. The area should then receive a 30 cm by fenthrin perimeter treatment. Remember, if baled materials are stored to feed animals, they should not be placed directly on the treated ground. You should treat the ground and use plastic sheeting. You also cannot store baled materials on sand. If storing hay off the ground, chemical treatment is not required. However, you must ensure the hay is covered with a tarp or stored in a shed. The use of a hay trailer and a tarp is also an option. A pallet is not appropriate for off-ground storage. If you want to use them, please follow the recommendations for on-ground storage. In summary, to move bowel materials from a property within the fire ant biosecurity zones, you must follow the methods outlined in the video and in the biosecurity regulation, or move the material within 24 hours of receiving it, or transport the material directly to a nearby waste facility. Restrictions apply, so check our website for more information. Remember, these requirements are only needed if you intend to move the hay to another property. If you are unable to fulfil these requirements, it may not be safe to move your hay. Talk to us about your options. When selling hay, be aware that buyers may ask if the material has been produced and stored in accordance with the regulation. You should always respond to their questions. No one wants to be responsible for bringing this pest into your neighbourhood. Make sure you keep records of the actions taken. These will help prove you are compliant with the regulation. Records must be kept for at least two years and failure to do so could result in penalties.